Alright then, welcome back to Van Life Customs. So today we're going to go through all my bed setups. Seating, chaise long, bed, half bed, full bed, how you can get into the lockers when the bed's made up. Yet again, it all works in different ways. So first of all, U-shape setup. This is a standard U-shape setup. All the beds are the same. I know this uh, interior is not to everyone. Um, when I done it, it was a couple of years ago. I wanted to do something a little bit different. Camo come up. I thought, yeah, that'd be different. So that's what I did. So my seat covers are camo at the front and the curtains, the cab curtains, camo as well. So we'll probably change them one day, but at the minute it's staying there. It is. Right, U-shape. So as you can see, I'm sat here on my own and it's comfortable. Short wheelbase van, sat in the corner, you know, you can sit here quite happily. You can sit here like this, you know, if there's a couple of you in here. Chuck one of these over here out the way, that opens it up. Get your back nice and comfortable. Gives you a bit more space on the bench. I've shown this before. I'll show it again. Obviously, this comes out. Grab a cushion. Goes in there. Chuck this out of the way. You can put it there if it's only you. Put it there if it's just you on your own. Chuck it up out of the way if there's a couple of you. Uh, you've got somewhere to chill and you can sleep on this. Emma goes, she was used to take this to work. When she got tired, she used to pull this out, chuck sleeping bag on here, have a hour's kip in the, in the lay-by or at the services. So in my other video, it shows this cushion fitting perfectly across here. And in my T4, these back cushions do fit perfectly in the slide out in my T4. As this U shape has evolved and in different vans, it's different sizes and different shapes. So this cushion doesn't actually sit in that position perfectly. You have to turn it on its side and it sits like that. It's one of them things, it was never actually designed to do that. It was just something that sort of happened and worked after and it's quite cool. Um, and if you want to sit at this point to eat your dinner at a table, you can. What I'll do, I'll make the bed up because there's a knack to making the bed up. I've shown it in another recent video, but I'll show it in my van. So I'll put this back together. So say so it's night time, we're going to make a bed up. First thing I'll do, to pull the two slide out tail like that. I'll take me two cushions from the back and I'll put them on the slide out. I'll then take both of these long back cushions and just stand them up here out the way by the cab. I'll then stand these up on their ends like that. And at this point, our bedding is kept in this underside locker. So what I'll do is, I'll remember, no, I don't always forget, to get a uh, sleeping bags out. Now comes the sleeping bags. I'm not going to do it because I'm not getting in this bed to sleep right now. It's in the middle of the day and I'm at work. So. With your sleeping bags and all your bedding out, sheet and all that, it's time to pull the bed slats up. Bed slats come out the back box. Like that. Sometimes these bed slats do get caught at an angle in the box. And if you pull them hard enough, they will come off the, the tape, the fabric tape that holds them together, spaced out evenly. When it when you find that it grabs, don't just yank it up. Just put your hand in and just free it off. It's just they're at a certain length and the box is at a certain length. 
you know, and it sometimes happens. It's not all the time, but it does happen occasionally. And it's an easy fix. You don't need to rip them out. Literally, just pull them as best you can, put your hand in and just lift it out. That's it. I've had it happen to myself a couple of times. It's no big deal. So, I'll put the bed slats to that position. Put my foams back in, my cushions back in. And then because we've put these on this slide out part, I can now get to these. And they go in the middle. Like that. So at this point, I now put a sheet on. I haven't got a sheet to hand this at home. I didn't even think about bringing it. But it's easier to put your sheet on at the back. You know, tuck it in. What have you. And then I'll leave it just to here. And then the next bit is just these last few bed slats. So you put them in the right place. Like that. Crouch down here because uh, you won't be able to see it, will you? If I don't, I don't normally do this. Them two then go on the end like that, and there you have our fully made camper van bed. And it's a big bed; it's super comfortable. You know, especially if you're on your own. Generally, it's me and Emma, but I have slept in here on my own. She slept in here on her own. This is my side, and that's her side. And we used to have a dog as well, we used to sleep in here and all. So, bed's fully made. When we wake up in the morning, when we're away for two or three nights, I don't always put the bed back into like day van mode, into the U shape. Our main use is the kitchen and having somewhere to sit and chill and to be honest with it made up in this position it's nice to sit and chill but this part in our short wheelbase does kind of get in the way of the kitchen so we've come up with a solution well, we've been, do been doing this for a long time but recently i've made it so it's actually removable but if yours isn't removable because you had it done obviously pre this video there's ways you can get around it and make it work how we always used to Right, so what we do is, we take these two cushions off, we move our sleeping bags and stuff into the middle, we put a cushion there, and a cushion there. Now you can put them wherever you like, but that's generally what I do when I get up. So in our new version from today, these bed slats are now removable. So I'll take them. I unhook them, they come away, and I'll chuck them under my head, and then that goes away, and that goes away. And now, you have the whole kitchen space. You can get to your cupboard, you can get to your sink and hob, overhead lockers, you can use all this space, You've still got somewhere to sit and chill, you know, it's comfortable. Two of you can sit and chill, one of you can sit and chill. Our uh, passenger seat swings round. Generally I end up sat in the passenger seat and then ends up making a, she calls it a nest. Don't know what that's about. But she ends up on here. That's sort of day van mode when we're away camping for a few days. Very rarely we put it into the U-shape now when we're um, just away. We use the U-shape when we're away for, you know, day day van and mode, just away for a day mountain bike and something. But like I say, we're camper van and this is the method we use. So, if your van is built pre this video, and you had us build it, there's a, cu there's a couple of uh, ways you can do this. So what I'll do, I'll put it back to where we started off. So now we're back in this point. Our cushions have gone over there, like we always used to. So there's two methods you can do. You can move your cushions out. 
Now this is a little bit awkward when you've got all your stuff on the bed, so you still have your sheets and what have you, you're still on your bed, but it can be done. Just lift these up out of the way, and they literally just fold your bed sacks back over themselves. Now they necessarily won't sit perfectly flat, they sort of perhaps sit on each other or in the grooves or whatever, but it doesn't really matter once you put the phones back down. Put your thing back on, like that, shut him up, shut him up, chuck these back on. As you can see, this cushion's slightly raised, but yet again, when you're chilling, you've got all your bedding on it, it don't matter. You can still sit on it. They're not hurting. End of the day, foam, it compresses, it just goes around it. Don't worry about it. So that's the way you can do that. Yet again, short wheelbase fan in there opens up your whole kitchen area. You don't have to put all your bedding away, you don't have to put all your bed away. Second option. Second option, which is generally the one I used to use the most, although it does mark the pull out ends if you forget about it. So what we do is take them up, close these, and then we used to just lay them down like that. Yet again, it opens up the area you still got your seat, you can sit. But the problem is, they do rub against the furniture. And it does, if, if you drive like it, they swing. And they have been known to damage my faces. So I probably wouldn't recommend it if you precious over your furniture. But if you're not that bothered, crack on. Um, you could put a towel down or a sheet down or something just to stop it. You know. Um, but yeah, that does the same job. I mean, you could modify yours if you wanted to. I mean, I've literally modified mine. I've cut I've cut it here, and I've put these sort of hooks. I've sewn it onto a new bit of fabric, put a loop in, and then I've just stapled it on the back how the actual tape is along the bed slats. You could do the same if you wanted to. You know, it's, it's quite simple. Fairly easy modification. Um, I've used these sort of hook buckles like that. They just slide in and out. It's not the easiest thing in the world and I might look at another solution, but it was just something I found on Amazon and thought I'd give it a try just to see if it worked. And yeah, it works really well. I really like it and Emma really likes it. So whether you could use a, like a clip together buckle or a pop, pop button like you used to get on a shirt, Maybe that would work. Um, there's loads of different options. The key is not to make it too tight. You want to give yourself a little bit of room between the two bed slats when you disconnect them and connect them. It just makes it a little bit easier. But at the same token, you don't want to make it too long or too short. Because if it's too short, they won't sit correctly. And if it's too long, you'll find that this bed slat here will move backwards. Give yourself a little bit of wheat like wiggle room, but not too much. Right, so the next job, I'm going to put the bed back to bed mode. I'm going to show you how you can get in your boxes, how easy it is to get stuff out of the, the lockers, benches, whatever you want to call them, when it's in bed mode. So we're back in bed mode. You've set your bed up and you forgot to get your sleeping bags out. Bed's made up. Oh, I forgot my sleeping bags. Don't worry. Literally, you just pull that out of the way. And the bench lifts up and you can get your seat bags out like that. Same as the back cupboard, you can get in the back. Oh no, I've set the bed up and I forgot to get the barbecue out. There again, he comes out nice and easy. And there you go, and get the barbecue out. Or the heater.
or anything else you choose to keep in these lockers. And just as easy, the cushion goes back in. And there you go, back in bed mode. So the bed is six foot long. I'm 5'11", I think. And I have room still. So the bed's six foot long. And the reason the bed's six foot long originally, before the change the rules to camper vans, to be able to reclassify the logbook, they used to ask for a six foot bed. So when I designed it, we made it six foot. Um, across, it's the whole width of the van. Well, I can't sleep this way, well, I have tried, but I'm too long. Emma, I think, got away with it. She's a bit shorter than me, and she was fine. So if you're short, if you're this distance, you'll be all right. Do you want me to measure that for you? So this is a T4, and across the back section, is 1580 and like I say lengthwise we're at six foot which is 183 centimeters a t5 I believe slightly wider so yeah that gives you a insight to the many different variations of our bed and seat and setup works the only thing our bed and u-shape setup don't use is seat belts purely because it's made out of timber there's no metal frame or anything and i wouldn't want to put people on them back doors because then you lose your crumple zone right so i'm going to put it back into day van mode and i'll show you it's just the reverse of making it into bed mode but i'll show you how i do it yet again these ones come off Two middle ones go into the pull out. We lift the cushions up to the sides. Cover the bed slats. And we put them away just like that. Cushions go back down. These two go on the ends. Goes away like that. You will note that my cushion covers have got holes in and that's because these are waterproof covers. When I was chucking my bike and stuff in my last build, which was also a U-shape, I had sort of grey cotton covers and I was getting mud from my bikes all over my cushions and it was driving me mad. So this time, one of the reasons we went for the camo, it was a waterproof cover, a very heavy duty, but without these holes they just hold the air like a big balloon. So I've had to vent all the cushions. You probably don't need to do that if you're just using a cotton cover. And there we have it, back in day van mode. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that video about our bed system. Hope that's given you an insight how it all works and the different possibilities you can use. Catch you in the next one.